What are the main challenges in your region regarding the diagnosis and management of Parkinson's disease? Uh, it would be perfect if early diagnosis uh, develop in our regions because it takes a lot of time to have a diagnosis so it makes uh, a lot of suffers in the person who are waiting for a diagnosis on their families so it's very important. Do you feel politicians understand the condition and its impact on daily life? Our politicians are concerned about the situation of the people with Parkinson. But the question is that there are a lot of a lot of disease, a lot of problems and um, we have to manage to sensibilize and to introduce in the political agenda the issues and the problems of uh, Parkinson's disease. Are politicians doing enough to help people with Parkinson's and their family, in your view? Could they, do, could they be doing more? Always, always the uh, politician could do more. Never is enough. Uh, there are a lot of problems. Um, of course, uh, in the, for example, rehabilitation in our region, uh, if it, there is not exist any association, the rehabilitation for people with Parkinson are not going to be developed. So it is very important, and the help and support for the association, or instead that they could manage and uh, give the people with Parkinson all the needs, satisfy all the needs that they have. Um, and what more could be done to improve diagnosis, treatment and care? Uh, it will be perfect if uh, more rehabilitation um, are developed physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy are very, very important for the quality of life. Um, uh, this is very important to focus on, on it. Uh, in order to get early diagnosis, it's very important to um, improve the knowledge and the sensibilization of the general practitioner, which is are the first uh, doctors or uh, uh, clinicians that um, you know face to face to Parkinson's disease. It's very important to support them, give them more. Uh, tools to give them an uh, early diagnosis. Thank you very much. What are the main challenges in your country regarding the diagnosis and management of Parkinson's disease? In Denmark, I, s I think the main challenge is the overall lack of awareness about the Parkinson's disease as, as such both uh, among the um, municipalities and the, uh, the doctors, not the neurologists, but the, the other doctors and, and in the population as such. Do you feel politicians understand the condition and its impact on daily life? Uh, I would say that most politicians uh, see Parkinson as related mainly to motor symptoms and not to uh, the whole range of non-motor systems. Actually, we have a local election coming up uh, next week. And we have invited politicians to uh, go through uh, 24 hours of a life with Parkinson. And four politicians have agreed to do so, and, and they respond very positively. And, and they learn a lot from, they, they get these text messages uh, every so often with, with the tasks they have to do. So they get a sense of what it means to live with Parkinson. And it raises a, a bit of awareness, I think. It's needed. And are politicians doing enough to help people with Parkinson's and their families, in your view? And could they be doing more? They could certainly be doing more. Uh, on the positive side, we do have uh, quite uh, good services in terms of um, visits to the neuro neuro neurologist. It's about three times a year, in general, in, in average. But um, of course, they could be doing more in terms of uh, securing rehabilitation services uh, for, for people with Parkinson, and, uh, and also at the level of the municipality, 
uh, there needs to be more awareness of what it means and, and what should be done for, for people living with Parkinson. What more could be done to improve diagnosis, treatment and care? In terms of di diagnosis, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a question of uh, raising awareness amongst uh, general practitioners and, and amongst uh, doctors uh, who are not neurologists. They need to know more about uh, symptoms and, 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 and what to, um, how to react and respond. Uh, and what could be more um, to, done more in terms of uh, treatment? It's mainly the question of rehabilitation services, which are now uh, not a per not a, a permanent uh, offer to uh, to people, and there are not a lot, uh, enough uh, services for the, the 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 need there is. So that's the main points that need to be be uh, strengthened. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>
Well, I think we can uh, learn from uh, Holland and uh, look to the Parkinson net uh, approach. And a lot of uh, countries in Europe can uh, see if they can uh, copy the model into their uh, countries and their structure. And perhaps uh, we will have a bright future. Uh, that. Thank you very much. <laughs>